Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Scorpio. How are you guys, Scorpio? Hope you're all well. Thanks so much for dropping in. Let's see what's happening with you. Scorpio. This is any aspect of your life. Take it how it best resonates for you. Give it a little chance to play out. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? This wants to come out. Eight of water. Oh, you may be walking away from something. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups energy. Oh, I see patience. It's telling you to be patient. You have an opportunity here. You have an opportunity for a fresh new start. So it's about looking out there. You may feel the ship has sailed, you know, you're walking away. Something that's not fulfilling you. Okay, you may feel like it's too late because I see this energy of patience. It's about investing. Sometimes it's timing, okay, or it's just time to walk away. Time for something new. Looking out at that ship. Wow, an opportunity. Scorpio, beautiful energy. If you are investing in something new, hoping for a fresh new start, it's also an energy of not putting all your eggs in one basket. So it's an energy of looking out there and being patient, uh, not just with other people around you, but it's yourself in the situation. All right. Scorpio, there we go, yeah. So it's about saving money, protecting yourself, all right? Being a little stuck, kind of holding back. Yeah, so I do see travel, a trip. It's an energy of six of swords. It's about you know, taking lessons learned from the past. It's about moving away from something, okay? It's about moving on, avoiding a disaster, walking away from something. If you feel like if you're with somebody or you're around someone and you feel like you need to protect yourself, and it's generally a time to move on, okay? But it's also an energy of not being stuck. I had to pause for one moment. Sorry, my dog decided to bark for no real reason. Something wasn't good enough. <laughs> Didn't like her treat. All right, so moving on to avoid a disaster, but it's also taken the lessons learned moving forward. Some of you may be holding on to things, okay, that you want to keep, protect, if you're moving or relocating as well, taking what you need with you. And we have King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. It's a person who likes to uh, look into the future, plan for the future. Grounded, stable, someone protecting themselves, their money, trying to avoid some kind of a disaster here. Yeah, you've got a, I think you have a person here who could be kind of holding back right now. Maybe in protective mode, could be someone who sees you as a keeper, but I actually feel it's an energy of someone who's taken something they've learned and they're coming towards you. Someone wants to get to know you, because I see that Ace of Cups. Fresh new start. Oh yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Someone's planning something here. They're looking at all the details. They're planning for success, a fresh new start. Beautiful, there's that Ace of Cups. Very nice energy. Yeah, so I see the patience. <laughs> this could be someone who's very patient, you know, they're planning something. It could be financial planning, saving money uh, for moving, relocating. Uh, little side messages there. But it's about taking your time, looking at the details, planning for success. There's someone here who's quite sincere. I like that energy. Uh, there's an opportunity here. Oh, yeah. So someone, a little bit of Page of Wands energy. So someone enthusiastic, okay? Could be someone younger, possibly. Be a little cautious, though. I got to tell you, be a little cautious because I feel this is someone who's not the most impatient, but they're trying to be patient, you see. Uh, but this could be yourself, Scorpio, just sort of, you know, being very enthusiastic. Here for a good time, not a long time. Be careful of that energy with yourself or anyone. But, you know, it is a, it is a communication. It's enthusiasm to do with a fresh new start. So, yeah, slow and steady wins the race, telling you to slow down a little bit. I think it's this person slowing down personally, learning from the past to slow down a bit, you know, but not to the point where they're stuck. Someone's becoming unstuck, I feel. Yeah, moving away from something they're holding on to. It could be baggage, things like that as well. And I see the Eight of Wands. I see the Five of Cups. So yeah, I see a been there, done that energy, talk, communication, back and forth. Uh, I see a busy time. So there's an energy of someone who has a cup half full. 
little cup half full energy little regret remorse kind of energy uh, looks more like just a cup half full with this energy been there done that yeah so we have an energy of healing releasing so it's an energy of someone who's loving themselves first valuing themselves being patient uh, I feel as though, you know, this is a lot of times someone who just kind of takes their time, you know. This is someone who uh, still full of, you know, youthful energy. Uh, it's communication, positive. Uh, I feel here, it, like it's an energy of someone who I think is needing to learn patience, okay. That's what it's looking like because it has to do with the re this relief, release, the star, someone's hopes and dreams. Someone may be hoping that you'll be patient with them. <laughs> someone actually may have maybe losing patience with someone too who's not who's too young not ready for a relationship um, could be a lot of different things but I like that this ace of cups is in the heart of the reading because it's an opportunity in fact you may have a couple of opportunities a busy time uh, more than one thing happening at once more than one person or energy uh, very busy so I do feel it's been there done that so I do feel the release someone's letting someone go yeah, it could be someone who's holding on to them, holding on to the money, keeping them stuck. It's not going anywhere. So I feel like it's an energy of someone just moving on to avoid a disaster. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so there we go. Little Pisces, someone's looking at things from a different perspective. Oh, yeah, very strong Pisces energy. So this is someone who's, you know, already knows everything they need to know. Okay, they're trusting their intuition. They're going within. See, this is someone seeing within themselves, introspection, looking at things from a different perspective or seeing things from your perspective uh, or vice versa. Sometimes it's two people who um, just can't get on the same page too, you know, where someone already knows. Um, I got, and it's also too, you could have someone who could be admiring you, kind of holding back, watching from a distance. That Four of Pentacles is definitely that energy. Uh, with someone who wants to approach you so yeah i'm gonna see what that is when i put a few cards around it it'll clarify uh, six of swords energy yeah so there we go yeah you got someone coming a call and you got someone who wants to get to know you they want to date you i do feel they possibly have pisces in their chart or they're just trusting their intuition this is, I think, someone who's been watching you from a distance. They want to approach, okay? You could be a little unapproachable, but I also see a person moving away from someone, and I feel like it's this uh, younger person. Slow and see. This is someone who's looking at the details about having a fresh new start. And uh, I see two opportunities possibly here. Like, I feel like there's a couple people. Oh, yeah, you've got somebody here. Uh, this is keeping things simple. It could be someone who has children. It could be a crush, someone who wants to approach you. See, you got someone who wants to date you. They're crushing, but they just want to keep things simple, I feel, to start. Uh, there's some kind of victory, success, a light bulb going off, six of swords, seven of swords. It's an energy of someone who wants to get to know you more. Six of swords, seven of swords. They're trying to figure something out. Okay, they're looking at the facts. So this is somebody with a little bit of logic, maybe with some Aquarius energy. Uh, tell me about this king of pentacles. Yeah, so there's the air energy. There you go. So this is someone here. It's possible you have two people too, two opportunities. Uh, but I feel like it, it's connected with this Aquarius energy, someone who's letting go of someone. They're seeing the truth. There's someone here who's younger. I think someone's moving away from someone who's younger. Someone who's been holding on to them. But I also, you know, there's lots of side messages. I see someone holding on to things that are sentimental, uh, moving and relocating, taking the sentimental things with them. But you also could have someone who has children, okay? Or someone's looking to see if you have children or trying to figure something out. Someone wants to know you more. Tell me about the seven of so or king of swords, pardon me. This is someone quite logical, yeah. See, this is someone who's looking to see if you have other options. So this is a person who's about to make a decision. They want it to be successful. So I do feel there's a communication energy here. This is someone who's very wise. They're learning. It's someone who's kind of learning as they go. You know, they could be just holding back, checking you out from a distance a bit, you know. They could be someone at a distance, but I feel someone's distancing themselves from somebody else. 
and coming towards you. They're about to make a choice. So at Seven of Cups, there's emotions, someone thinking about all their feelings, their emotions, options, all the possibilities, okay? Oh, yeah. Someone who doesn't really know for sure. A little fantasizing, you know. Yeah, there's that Mercury energy scene. It's someone who's manifesting all the tools, the information they need before they approach you. Uh, they're coming in. So this is somebody very wise. So I do see that communication energy with a magician, having the tools, the information, the knowledge, the wisdom. Yeah, someone's manifesting something new. Hmm. Oh, yes, they have the tools, they have the information because they're learning, someone learning as they go. Be a little careful, like, if you know, there could be someone who's being manipulative here, too. So if you have someone, Scorpio, who you feel is manipulating you, the light bulb could go off as well. So you need to just keep things simple, two people growing closer, getting to know each other. So it's about taking your time. You have the eight, yeah. So it's walking away from one situation that's lacking emotional fulfillment, moving towards another. It could be something to do with chemistry. Maybe the chemistry's off, but I do see someone looking. They're learning. They want to know if you have other options, if you're seeing anyone. They're kind of checking you out. They could be around you anywhere. So someone who keeps distance, so, you know, they're very interesting. But it looks like someone who sees you as a keeper here. Tell me about the lovers. There we go. Yeah, an opportunity. See, we got three aces of cups here. In fact, some of you could have a few people around you checking you out here. So I do see a bond and a connection. Someone walking away from something that's not emotional, feeling eight of cups. So there is a little caution. See, they want to take in the time to get to know uh, you more before they offer up that cup. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person's definitely thinking, looking at the details options opportunities knight of pentacles yeah going off on a new path so it's about teamwork cooperation compatibility is there anyone else involved are you seeing anyone it's the courting card the crush they could have children you may already know who this person is like it's possible you actually know this person's checking you out <laughs> but it's definitely a, a little pause a little introspection you see mm -hmm. tell me about this ace of cups why is this here yeah so it's an energy of waiting so you see this energy there's that ship in this one too the ship is sailed this is somebody who's uh, i feel no longer manifesting someone here the ship has sailed. This is somebody who's looking elsewhere for a fresh new start, going off on a new path with someone much more compatible. See, someone's got someone around them that they're not compatible with. Here for a good time, not a long time, or you have a choice between two. Okay, so just watch that energy a little. I feel this is yourself in some ways, but it could be another person. Aries, Leo, Sag. It's energy of waiting patiently for something. It could be yourself waiting for an offer, an opportunity to go down this path. You, it could be yourself, you know. I feel like there's, if it is yourself, you're feeling enthusiastic, like you're ready to go for something here. Uh, but I do see that, been there, done that energy. So it has to do with uh, something here about the ship being sailed, you know, about walking away. Yeah, so it's telling you, there it is, temperance, patience. It's telling you to temper your passions, temper your emotions, slow down and take your time to get to know someone. If you have a new person coming in, it could be just a little reflection on the past, seeing the truth in the past. You may have not taken the time to get to know somebody, okay, uh, or somebody else around you. I see Sagittarius energy as well. Someone tempering their passions or emotions here, uh, not rushing in. So this is, it's, this is interesting. You, you've caught someone's eye here, I feel. Tell me about the Ace of Water. Why is this opportunity here? Oh, uh, yeah, someone very curious. There's that sword. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong Gemini energy. Strong Pisces and Sag energy in this reading. So someone very curious to see. They're looking at the options, the possibilities. Looking to see if you have other options, if you're seeing anyone. See, they want to know before they approach. Some of you may have someone here too that may not be telling you everything. Okay. 
They may have another person. Maybe they're not telling you. So it's an energy of, you know, you have someone here who may be right for you, someone who's not. There may be something off, you see. They come in with that focus on that wand. So like I say, it may not be you. It could be the other person. But, I, you know, a lot of times this is curiosity. Someone shining a light, looking for clarity. And I feel like it's related to this. It's related to the King of Swords and the Magician. They're manifesting information. They're shining a light. It has to do with this opportunity. Okay? They have someone here who's not right for them is what I feel. Or, you know, I, I like this energy, though. As somebody who's taken the time to think, right, before they take any kind of action, before they communicate. They're tempering their words, all right, that passionate energy. But it's an energy of pulling back, looking to see if someone's just right, looking to see if someone's compatible, if they're right for them. So that's where I feel it's the release of. Been there, done that, yeah. Someone young, someone who's focused on the physical, immature, someone who's not re really ready for a relationship, um, or anything for that matter. We'll see. I'm going to look at that uh, money, finance, and other aspects of your life as well. Eight of Wands, yeah. See, been there, done that. So it's possible you've got a couple of people where you've got that going on. Uh, it's a lot happening at once. Communication, see. Somebody is coming in. There's a sense of lack. Uh, I feel there's a need to release that, to heal. It's an energy of loving yourself first, okay, with that star. Now, letting go of people that no longer serve your best interests. Something is off. Someone's not telling you something, okay? But I do still feel it's connected with this other person who's uh, manifesting all the tools, the information, everything they need to know before they approach you. See, it's about investing. So, so I, you know, I got to tell you, it's somebody kind of back and forth looking to see if you're right for them you know looking to see and i also see someone who could be very curious if you're with someone there may be somebody who's seeing that you're with someone who may not be right for you like they're it's almost like they're judging a situation here see they're waiting patiently for something there's something to do with patience communication been there done that you know someone's losing patience with someone there's something off and they're ready to go down a new path it's also about someone not putting all their eggs in one basket Communicating with a couple people back and forth and making a decision. So just keep your eyes open if you start dating someone. Because I do see the calling card. I do see the dating with that Knight of Cups. But sometimes it's someone is a little wishy-washy. They don't really know what they want. You know, they date. They, you know, they may wine and dine a little. But they keep it very simple. Okay? It's, it's a crush energy. It's possible they have other options, you know. There could be a little manipulation. I'd be, I would be a little cautious. But more often than not, it's just an energy of someone who's curious. There it is right there. See, someone's becoming decisive because they're gathering information, all everything they need to know. You got someone coming towards you. They're letting go. They're no longer invested in someone. They got someone who comes in very fast, fiery. Uh, they lack patience. So I feel like they have a person. This person, I think, is letting go of someone or it's yourself that doesn't, it isn't patient. Uh, where there's something off, it doesn't feel right. There even could be a lack of chemistry. Okay, it's just a lack of connection. So tell me more about this patience. There we go. Yeah, Queen of Swords. So this is energy of someone losing their patience. It could be yourself. Yeah. So we have someone here who's telling a story. So there's something off. You got someone telling you a story. They're not telling you everything. The fish in the cup, the story. You have someone who's sincere and someone who's not. Okay, so it's about pulling back and looking at who is not being sincere, who's telling you a story. So I feel like you're calling someone out, but you're being very wise. I do see you tempering your words and being patient, but I see some of you losing patience. Uh, if it's yourself here. Yeah, you want someone who knows what they want here. I can see it, you know. You're not putting all, you, you may be calling someone out because they have other options. Maybe they've been going back and forth. It has to do with patience and investing. It's also, I do see an energy of just a lot of communication. Been there, done that. Fiery, passionate energy. It's about investing in it. There's something in the communication that you're not interested in. But then you've got this release and letting it go. And you have another person. You may tell somebody to be patient as well, okay? You may be telling someone you're cutting someone out, be patient. It could be the other way around as well. But it's telling you to be very wise. Temper your passions, your emotions, that impatience. I feel like that's there's a little energy there for you. Temper it. Slow down, Scorpio. Yeah, but I think it's the other person too, to be honest, or somebody. In fact, there could you could have a couple of options or a few people around you. Um, 
there's definitely something off. Tell me about this temperance. Why is temperance here? Yeah, so this is definitely someone very grounded. See, someone's tempering their passions, emotions. They're grounding themselves. They're looking into the future. You've got someone who's curious about you. Yeah, it's about, it's someone financially stable, focused on money, finance, and career. Someone's turning their back on someone. See, the ship has sailed. Someone's leaving someone behind. They're uh, curious about you. Tell me about the... Because they're taking a little pause. They're looking at things from a different perspective, you see. Uh, before they approach you, they want to know something. Yeah, see, a little cautious, a little careful. It's about rejection or they're just not sure. It's someone who doesn't want to miss an opportunity either. So uh, it's very possible you have a person who is trying to make a choice between you and someone else. They don't want to miss an opportunity. They don't know who's the right person, who's the best fit. So... Uh, that's the dating, okay? It's like that sometimes. Uh, but I can see this person being very curious. This is somebody who's just not sure, okay, if someone's right for them or not. See, it's about investing. Something to do with this communication. What is this communication? It could be the way someone talks, the way they communicate, their fiery passion, too much of a hurry. Maybe they talk too fast. You know, somebody who's a bit of a smooth talker. <laughs> the story. You see, it's the communication, the story. Uh, you got someone who's not sincere. I don't think you're going to invest in them. Cup half full. So someone who's, you could have someone who's a little bit uh, wishy-washy or uh, they have some kind of negative energy, uh, the way they communicate. There's something off, okay? And I feel like you're looking at that. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's just telling you to trust your intuition, your inner knowing, okay? You already know everything you need to know, so it's an energy. And I actually feel like you got someone here who kind of knows you know something, okay? Yeah, there's definitely this back and forth energy. It's, you know, it's not just patience, it's healing, it's releasing, it's looking, mixing of two elements to see if something is just right. Something is off right there. Could have someone who's tempering the, you know, tempering their thoughts and emotions here. When it comes to making a choice, they're maybe just not sure. There's still things they need to know, you know, about yourself as well. It's also an energy of rejection or a missed opportunity, but it's about not accepting something. It may not be good enough, you know. Oh, tell me about the Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Scorpio there we go yeah so it's a decision so it's a decision to release somebody this person's making a decision a judgment to let someone go you also have someone who may have missed an opportunity with you possibly they may have judged you wrong it's because there's things that they didn't know so yeah this is quite interesting I almost feel like there's a couple people here I definitely feel like you know I think you got a person here um, who's looking into the future, definitely financially oriented, very grounded, practical, someone who likes to make uh, decisions long term, right? They look into the future and base their decisions on that energy. Yeah, there's that been there, done that communication, making a decision on a communication. It's a judgment to release. This person's letting go of someone who's not right for them. You got someone's attention here. But I still feel there's someone who's telling you a story. So watch out for the story, okay? Because I feel this energy of, yeah, see, this is a story about emotional fulfillment. What makes someone happy? Someone's trying to make a decision who makes them happy. But I feel like you're calling someone out. Uh, I feel like you got someone here who get, offers one cup, nothing more. Really negative. This person talks negative. It's... Um, all about their feelings, emotions, there's a lack of sincerity. Because you're, you've are you got this other energy. You're letting go of this person. I see this energy. You may have Aquarius in your chart or just the energy you're in where, you know, you want your hopes and dreams. The situation's out of reach. You're letting someone go. Moving towards something better here. Yeah, so you're letting someone go. You're going to let someone go here. You see, someone who here for a good time, not a long time. And someone who comes back around, they're not sure what they want. You're not interested in anyone who doesn't know what they want. They offer one cup. So I think it's this person here. You actually got someone who wants to date you. So you may have, a, if you've got a couple people here, you're definitely going to cut someone out. It's because of the story they tell you. You're going to lose your patience. They tell you a story, they offer one cup. You see? 
See, they're focused on themselves. They're all about themselves. That's the me card. A little immature. And it's, you know, it's kind of interesting because you have something in common with someone. In fact, if you communicate, meet somebody or talk to them, you may find you have something in common through communication that you're both letting go of someone who's younger, been there, done that. It's like you want two people want someone, people who are mature, okay? Two people who are ready for a relationship because you got two people here who aren't really ready for a relationship. They're a uh, page of wands energy. You want someone who's decisive, you're trusting your intuition, being wise, your inner wisdom, your inner knowing, where you just know, okay? This person comes in with a cup half full. They lack. They're going to offer you one little cup and nothing more. Here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Could be just something that's happened in your past where you're ta you've taken that wisdom and knowledge with you. But I actually feel like it's this other person too. I see two people with a little mirroring. Been there, done that. You both had a you know, relationship with younger people who maybe who are immature or not ready. Or it was both of you in the past rushed into relationships. You know, when you were young, uh, I, I see decisions being, you know, made. So it's possibly you have something in common that you both did the same thing when you were young. So, because I see that King and Queen of Swords communication, but I also see that Page of Cups uh, several times here. Yeah, you're moving off. Yeah, you're, you've got a choice. You have a soulmate connection here. You're moving towards a soulmate, two people who connect. You know, you get each other. And I see a lot of emotional fulfillment. You're cutting someone out for telling you a story. You're calling someone out. You're cutting them out. You're just going to tell them. You're out of here. Yeah. Yeah. See an opportunity, see, changing your focus, going on another opportunity. You're going to make a decision. I see you're going to make a decision here, Scorpio. You got someone who's too focused on that wand, the physical. See, here for a good time, not a long time. It's someone who doesn't stick around. Uh, I feel it's an energy of looking back. Uh, there's something in common both of you have from your past. It's in the heart of the reading to do with options, possibilities. Okay, now the ship has sailed. Too little, too late energy. Yeah. And I do see this a little remorse and regret kind of energy, but it's also about making a decision you don't want to regret. So there's that energy of focus, making someone's focused on you right. See, it's a release, the healing, clearing things up, clearing things out of your life, no more negative energy. You're letting someone go who's got sort of negative energy. Uh, just a cup half full, wishy-washy, don't know what they want, or they're just emotional. They reach out when they want attention, They, you know, that kind of energy. Or they come around and apologize, you know, over and over but it feels like both of you you know the mirroring you know manifesting options possibilities making a decision thinking about past options people you dated it's somebody who's i feel you got a person who's ready to uh, move away uh, from the dating life they're ready to manifest something real okay that's what i feel a partner someone that's compatible they can build with slow and steady wins the race see they're looking at the details of the situation yeah, so see, it's time for change, time to move on. This person's ready for change. They're ready for somebody different, someone different than their usual type. This is very, and this could be yourself too, someone different than your usual type. Grounded, stable, sensible, financially stable, someone who's actually ready because there's someone here where it's off and someone here who's definitely uh, ready, more mature stable grounded it doesn't mean they're rich it just means they're stable okay financially they have plans for the future so i do see a clearing out releasing something i see it's an energy of having no regrets taking an opportunity changing your focus okay yeah so there's a little bit of unfounded fear to deal with here too but it's an energy of clearing out that negativity clearing your head taking a break make t sleeping on it before you make a decision but i i think you're going to let go of this person in fact you may have a couple people like that or you both have had someone like that they're just not ready for a relationship they only come in when they want a little attention they always have a story it's kind of poor me with the five of cups so you want to be happy you want it this is two people who put all their cups on the table they're emotionally available mature there's this a uh, reason to celebrate it's happy home happy life uh, beautiful see look at that eight of cups nine of cups caution being careful what you wish for making a decision because of past energies people that you've dated as well as them so you, you're moving towards a soulmate connection 
after letting someone go. <laughs> someone who tells you the story. Yeah, so I do see this ring. So this could turn into a committed situation. I see communication. I see a bicycle built for two. <laughs> so a bicycle, I don't know what that means, but it could be a motorcycle as well. Two wheels turning here. It's like energy of moving away, moving towards someone else. It's something about balance here as well. Two people who are, who, you know, are patient with each other. You've got someone who's not patient, and I feel like you're losing patience with someone. Uh, and I feel they have too, and it has to do with the communication. Busy. So when you're busy, you got a lot going on. This person comes in with the poor me. That's what I feel. And then we have a heart with a key. Uh, so there's two hearts here. Very nice. Two, two birds. So a lot of communication. And then I see the C. So this is about seeing things. Okay, seeing things clearly. Yeah, so you're going to, there's something you're going to see, okay? You're going to realize here. And I feel like if you have a couple options, a couple opportunities here, I feel it's an energy of moving on. But you've got someone coming, you have someone who keeps coming back towards you, okay? They, someone who keeps coming back around, uh, there's something off. And I just feel this person, as well as yourself, are ready for change. So it's a feeling of feeling on top of the world, connecting with someone you're actually compatible with. Yeah, so it's about seeing. I see a great big heart. See, this is someone who's ready for a commitment. You see, this is someone who's ready for something serious. But they're taking off the rose-colored glasses. They're seeing. Somebody is watching you, checking you out. They're probably in your social circle or somewhere around in your world. Uh, they really could be anywhere. But it's I, I do see two people building each other up, talking, communicating, getting to know each other. So, yeah. This so is someone who doesn't want to miss an opportunity. A little worried about rejection, so they're kind of looking at the possibilities, how to, you know, if they communicate with you, what may happen. Um, just watch out, like I say, for someone who comes in with a story, they don't tell you everything. That's the energy where I think you're going to reject that person, because you got this new, it's almost like this other person, they may not be new, you might know who they are, um, but I feel that, you know, this is that person here who... I can see the glasses, seeing things clearly, the ring and the heart. So it has to do with love and balance. Somebody's about to make a head over heart decision here too. See, it's about that balance. Um, something to do with that bicycle too. Tell me about the world. Yeah, so it's about pushing through fear, unicorn, taking an opportunity. See, you've got someone here who's about to take an opportunity. Uh, they're ready for change. So I don't know if this person uh, sees that you're with someone who's not right for you or you see them with somebody who's not right for them, or you've both been through that situation. So there's that judgment, the decision, the communication. See, it's a, the, the, it's judgment. There it is right there. Making a decision to move away from someone and move towards someone much more compatible. I feel like it's both of you. <laughs> I do see a lot of, I, I see two people who are mature, but also youthful, enthusiastic as well. A lot of talk, a lot of passion. Tell me about this Prince of Cups. Yeah, so it has to do with the key, key to the heart. See, there's love here. So you may have somebody who comes back around, they offer one cup. So it's about the key, something about the key to the heart. Feelings and emotions. Could be somebody who comes back in, apologizes, they come back in, probably acting the same way as they always do, if you know who this is. But it doesn't have to be necessarily somebody um, that you know really well, but I, it's telling you to trust your intuition. This person keeps secrets. They are keeping secrets. They're not telling you everything. It's a story, okay? So always look at the story. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Yeah, an opportunity. See, we, you've got four Aces of Cups here, so you have an opportunity for a fresh new start. This is someone who's ready for a new beginning, to go down a path with somebody better, somebody who fits, um, Someone who feels just right where there's chemistry. So you got to make a decision here, okay? This is someone different than your usual type. It's telling you to try something different, okay? And this person as well. Very interesting. Love your reading. I feel like you've got this, okay? Just see that truth. If you want to have success, uh, some of you may be exploring a few options, dating a few people. Someone's looking to see. If, I think that you got someone who's actually looking to see if you have other options. Uh, that's how I feel this is going to start. And they're going to come in and offer you something. 
We have Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Ace of Cups. So one, two, three, four. Very nice. Options, possibilities, dating. It's time to move towards the compatible person. So take care, Scorpio. I wish you the best, and we'll see you soon.